Well, the FDA has just approved a new study to test out a pretty cool device. It's a cap designed for certain breast cancer patients. News 4 medical expert Dr. Peter Ostro shows us that once it's on your head, it puts your scalp into a deep chill for a good reason. Two years ago, Melissa Lisbon was diagnosed with breast cancer. The treatment is effective, but the side effects can be very distressing. You go through surgery and chemo in some cases and radiation, and sometimes you, you lose that sense of being a woman. Part of that is because with chemotherapy, you may lose your hair. But Melissa's doctor told her about an experimental device that might prevent that. And I immediately said yes. It's called the DignaCap. It's one of several devices that are used to cool the scalp. Over a period of time, the cap goes down to 5 degrees centigrade. That's 41 degrees Fahrenheit, about the temperature in a refrigerator. If you cool the scalp, you do reduce the amount of blood flow to the scalp, to the hair follicles in the scalp. So you constrict the blood vessels. Less blood flow to the scalp means less chemotherapy reaches the hair follicles so they aren't damaged and the hair is saved. It works for some patients. And I've had a couple of women very successfully use the cap throughout their chemotherapy and not lose their hair. Melissa was one of 20 women with early stage breast cancer who tested the device in 2011. She didn't lose her hair after 12 weeks of treatment. By having your hair going through cancer treatment, at least from my experience, it's given me just a positive sort of motivation that I can get through um, the treatment. Based on those results, the FDA just approved a second larger trial. And if the device is shown safe and effective, it could soon be available throughout the U.S. Now, in order for the cooling to work, it has to begin about a half hour before the chemo treatment. Then it continues all during the infusion and for some time afterward while the drug is still in the circulation. If it's approved, it will likely be useful for a wide variety of patients, not just those with breast cancer. For News 4, I'm Dr. Peter Ostrow of the UB Medical School. Boy, it's encouraging to see it, isn't it?